So my name is Michael Brainerd, and thank you for having me. And I'm delighted to be here. And I'm over miked for this small of an audience, but we'll go with it. Um, I'm delighted to have the opportunity to talk about a topic I've been working on for about three years. Um, I am not um, a diversity or inclusion person. I don't come from the DNI world. This topic called unconscious bias has traditionally been held pretty tightly in folks who study diversity and inclusion in the workplace. We came to the topic through a client, through a leadership development program, where by the client asked us to think about how they could expand their leader's decision-making mind and decision-making capability. And one of the things we thought about with the client is how unconscious bias exists in all of us. We can't do much about it, but how do we think about its influence on individual and collective decision-making? And I'm going to talk about the individual and collective impact of unconscious bias because it's very important that as a senior leader, a person who makes decisions that impact lots and lots of stuff around value, but as importantly, your interactions with other people, it's very important that you go through that step one. Step one is, what is this topic and how does it impact me? Step two is, what do I do about it? And step three is, both first steps one and two don't matter. Because the individual impact of your unconscious bias, you can do things about, but it's really like a drop of water in the ocean. What you're going to find through this talk is that the collective impact of unconscious bias is far more insidious, far more pervasive, far more negative than any of us probably realize. So what we do at Brainerd Strategy, what we're trying to do through our leadership development work with lots and lots of corporate clients, is to kind of expand and create a cohort mindset or a culture around what this really is. Because individually picking off individual action plans is not going to move the needle societally or in business in the way that we want. So I'd like you to be thinking all day about how am I impacted by this and then how are we impacted in impacting other things. And I say things because it's not just people, it's how we make decisions about how we work every day.